with the somewhat surprise tweet on the 28th of February regarding a global event happening this weekend, and data mined information and rumours stating that we'll be having global events for every weekend in March, I thought that this would be a good time to introduce a super quick guide for those of you who either haven't taken part in a global event or don't fully understand what they are. So what are global events? Global events occur over a set period of time. They offer new mechanics that affect the global map and mix up how you play the content based on the different modifiers that each event brings. The examples coming up are based on previous global events, so it may vary slightly for what we see going forward. But based on the fact that all classified gear is now available in the loot pool, and that these are only happening over a few days, rather than a week like in previous global events, it feels pretty safe to assume that we're getting a repeat of the last ones. Global Event 1. Outbreak. This event is all about keeping the enemy at range. Global modifiers cannot be turned off, and will remain until the end of the event. The global modifier for Global Event 1 is Outbreak. Headshot kills increase headshot damage for a duration and hurt nearby enemies. The group and activity modifiers are optional. These can be activated on certain activities for more challenge and greater rewards. In each event you'll see these missions marked on the map. So, to get the most out of this event, hit your headshots and keep some distance between you, the enemies and your allies. Sniper and ranged builds will be most effective. In contrast to Global Event 1, Assault is all about close range combat. The global modifier is Assault. Enemies are vulnerable and all agent damage is increased at close range. The aim in this event is to get up close and personal with enemies, but also to keep in close proximity to your fellow agents. This will not only further increase your damage, but on the flip side, having some distance between you and your allies will have NPCs doing more damage, so get cosy. Shotguns and SMGs will do well here. Global Event 3 Strike Strike is all about explosions. The global modifier is, enemies explode after they are killed. Much like Global Event 2, you want to keep some distance between you and your allies, as you can also trigger explosions when sustaining too much damage. Careful when getting too close to an enemy, explosions can lead to chain reactions from nearby NPCs. Self-sustainability and shield builds make it through these modifiers quite comfortably. Global Event 4 Ambush This is all about standing still. No seriously, don't move, and you'll do a lot more damage. The global modifier is Ambush. Agent deals increased damage when stationary. The aim here is to do as little moving as possible, at least while in combat anyway. Utilize builds that do better when you sit back, like skill power builds. So what's the big deal about global events? Global events are currently the easiest and fastest way to acquire classified gear, and each global event has certain sets associated with it. For example, Outbreak has sets Lone Star, Final Measure, and Dead Eye. Assault is Striker, Sentry, and Reclaimer. Strike has Predator, Defense, Banshee, and Nomad, and Ambush has Tactician, Alpha Bridge, Firecrest, and Hunters. When playing through the global event, you're awarded with GE credits. These credits can be taken through to the GE vendor to purchase GE caches. These caches have a high chance to drop between 1 and 3 classified pieces, based on the global event. In previous global events, there were two caches you could purchase, Standard and Superior. When searching for classified gear, it's recommended that you buy the more expensive Superior GE cache for a greater chance. In the state of the game, they mentioned that there's likely to be a bit of a change to the system. We're not sure when this is to be activated, so when it's known, I'll place an update in the description below. On top of the classified gear, there is the opportunity to acquire masks. Each global event has commendations associated with it. Some of these commendations will reward you with unique masks. Check through your dossier for the requirements. How do I get the most out of a global event? There are certainly faster, more efficient methods of farming for GE credits, but I strongly advise that you try to vary activities as much as possible, or you'll very quickly burn out, if not during the event, then slightly after. And given that this is meant to be every weekend for the month of March, you need to keep yourself motivated. I'm serious when I say this, in each previous global event I farmed every piece available, repeating the same mission over and over for 4-5 to five days. It's brain numbing, and after the event was finished, I really needed a break from the game. Fortunately for me, the next global event was a fair amount of time away, but over this next month you won't have the time in between. Here are some options that allow for some fast GE credits, while still providing a little bit of variation. But again, I recommend mixing things up. 
Take advantage of the global event, but don't burn yourself out. HVTs. Don't rush straight into these. See the leaderboard section. These are a quick way of gaining a ton of credits, and can be used to increase your ranking. Light Zone Bosses. Varied and quick to complete. Lexington. This is the fastest challenging mission to complete. Even without the group or activity modifier, the ability to complete this mission in 10 minutes or less makes it one of the go-tos for global events. Clear Sky. If you have a well-coordinated group, you can complete this in around 5 minutes. And for a change of pace, the Dark Zone offers a bit of variation. You don't have to worry about extracting, just run around and kill named enemies for the GE credits. When the global event is ended, players will be rewarded with caches. Along with gear piece caches, players can also be rewarded with vanity items. Depending on the player's position on the leaderboard, the amount of caches and vanity items can vary between 1 and 3. These caches can be found at the rewards vendor in the base of operations. Your position on the leaderboard is determined by the maximum GE credits you have earned in one hour of continuous gameplay. A method that has worked for myself as a mainly solo player to keep myself in tier 3 on the leaderboard is to complete a legendary mission, immediately jumping into the weekly HVTs and a couple of the higher daily HVTs, and then finish it off with some quick light zone farming. Personally, I don't agree with the way that global events have been initiated. As with any RPG, if you offer your player base the option to farm an endgame item faster and more efficiently, and then add a timer to it, naturally all hardcore and even casual core players will take full advantage of this, ensuring that they gain the maximum out of these events. Don't get me wrong, I'm not against global events being replayed to help out the players that weren't able to take advantage of the first round of global events, just that global events in general could have been better thought over from the start. Essentially, they've introduced a really cool way of mixing up the day to day activities but have then added a hell of a lot of pressure and grinding into the mix, overshadowing the modifiers and events in general. But regardless, they're here, and what's most important to those of you who have come to the game a little later on is to take full advantage and level out the playing field. We don't know what's coming next, but for now I can say for certain that these GE events are the best way for you to gain classified pieces, with or without the upcoming drop rate increases. At this stage, the data mined information states that the global events are planned for the following dates. But please note this hasn't come from an official source, and is subject to change. Anyway, hopefully this has provided some clarity for some of you. Let me know if you have any further questions about the global events below, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers!